Hey guys, welcome back to another video. All right, so today I'm checking out the newest item in Dango's capsule collection, and that's the capsule slide. Let's check it out. Alright, so the capsule slide comes in very familiar packaging. Comes in a clear plastic bag with the orange insert. Not really much on the back side here, so let's take these out. Alright, so now I'll give you guys a nice close up of the satin silver and jet black capsule slide. And while you guys are checking this out, Let's talk about some of the features. All right, so the capsule slide is machined out of 6061 aerospace grade aluminum and is designed to hold everyday items such as keys, SD cards, coins, small tools, or credit cards. And speaking of those credit cards, it can hold up to six or up to 15 business cards. It's available in two colors, anodized jet black, or set in silver. It features a sliding lid you open up to access your contents. And the lid rides on Dango's patented rail mechanism. It comes with the A-Series adapt plate, which makes it compatible with all A10 adapt wallets. It's also compatible with the A10 chassis clip, or just rock it solo. And just like all of Dango's products, it's made right here in the USA. All right, so that's enough of the quick features. Let's talk dimensions. All right, so let's start with the exterior dimensions. It's 4.3 inches tall by 2.5 inches wide and is 0.6 inches thick. And the interior dimensions are four inches tall by two inches wide by 0.25 inches deep. And they say it weighs four ounces on the website, so let's weigh it. All right, so nothing is inside. Plop it on my scale. Boom, four ounces. They were exactly on the money. Four ounces comes out to be 112 grams. All right, so what exactly is the capsule slide and why would you want this? Well, Dango designed this to free up your pockets of any necessary gear that you have to carry around on a daily basis, but just sick of having it loose in your pockets and say you wanna organize everything, well, that's where the capsule slide comes in. And it especially makes sense if you already owned the Dango A10 adapt wallet, because you can see right here, it already comes with the A-Series adapt plate. And if you guys already own the A10 adapt wallet, I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with this plate. On the front of the A10, we have this rail system here that accepts all A-Series adapt plates. So all you have to do is just easily slide it into place and now you have yourself a nice convenient little case here for your A10 adapt wallet. So if you already own the A10 adapt wallet and just need more space to carry around, say more credit cards, SD cards, coins, keys, whatever, this is almost a perfect solution for you. All right, so now let's take a closer look at the capsule slide here. So we have this sliding plate, the Dango logo right dead center with an arrow pointing up. Just a nice visual representation of which way the lid has to go to come right off. I'll give you guys a nice close up of the inside. We have some dangle branding right there. And then we have these four raised feet right here. And then of course, I already showed you, it does come installed with the A-Series adapt plate. Then on the bottom here, we do have an attachment point for lanyards or tethers. And if I go to the top, you can see that little screw hole right there. Now that is for the A10 chassis clip if you guys want to buy this separately. And I thought making the capsule slide compatible with the chassis clip was a great idea. Because if you don't own the A10 and still need a capsule like this to carry around extra stuff, you can still do that with this little clip here. Once it's attached, you can either clip it to your belt or just inside of your pocket and use it as a pocket clip. I'll attach this and show you guys what that looks like just a little bit later on in this video. And because I know somebody's gonna ask out there, no, these are not compatible with each other. I've already checked. Meaning if you wanted to stack a few of these together like this, because this one has the A10 plate on the back here, you can see it slides on, but you can still lift it apart like this. They don't click in together. I think this would have been a cool idea if these were compatible and just kept stacking with each other. Then all you had to do was just slide open whatever capsule you wanted, but they didn't make them compatible, so let's move on. All right, so it can hold up the six credit cards, so I have six of my flat demo cards right here, so let's just stuff them all in at once, just like that. And it looks like it's gonna fit perfectly with my flat demo cards, check that out. Just keep in mind if you wanna access your cards, you have to slide this plate completely off just based on how this is designed here. With this plate still on, there's no easy way to slide your cards off to the bottom just because of this little lip right here. And I say keep that in mind just in case somebody was looking at this as an EDC wallet because 
You could do that if you wanted to. And I did test out the capacity of raised number embossed cards. So I have four of them right here, which, yeah, can still fit one more flat card in there. And that seems to be the max right there. So once I get the plate on, you'll see, yep, four embossed and one flat. I don't have any other embossed cards, but I still believe if you had five embossed cards, it would still fit in here. So I have two bills in here. Obviously to get these bills in here, you're gonna have to fold it into quarters. Put four flat cards back in there. Let's get the plates back on. Stuff those two bills in. Oh yeah. So that's actually pretty tight right there. Four flat cards, two bills folded into quarters, and I don't think I'm gonna be able to get another bill in there just because of how thick it gets folding them into quarters. But obviously you can fit a lot more bills in there if you're not a card carrier. All right, so what else can you fit in here? So right here I have the Key Smart Clean Key, and believe it or not, I actually can get this fit in there. Check this out. So. Yeah, fits right in there. This was actually a surprise that I got this key to fit in here. That's pretty impressive. Now I have these SanDisk thumb drives and I thought these would fit, but yeah, no, these are way too thick to fit in here. So if you have these thumb drives, they won't fit, but standard SD cards like this in the case, they should fit fairly easy. There you go. But if you guys wanna ride your SD cards without the cases, you can fit a lot of them in here, but I wouldn't recommend that. So now let's get in a couple keys. Let's put those in there. A couple quarters. Let's get those in. Let's get those bills back in there. And let's see if I can close this back up. I was trying to close the lid from the other side, so I actually put it in the right side. It closes up pretty nice with all that stuff in there, but I don't have the bills in there yet. Oh, here we go. You can see I just stuffed in everything very sloppily and that's probably not gonna work. All right, so now I actually took my time and put all that stuff in here. When I actually thought about it, don't just stuff it in there super sloppy like I did. And if you're good at Tetris, you might like this thing because I just got all that to fit right in here. But I'm sure you guys get the idea of what can fit in here. I can spend another hour giving you guys examples of what can fit and what won't fit. The point is all this stuff would normally just be rattling around in your pocket, but now you have a nice easy storage solution that can fit right on the back of your Adapt A10 wallet. All right, so now let's talk about the A10 chassis clip. Now just making the capsule slide compatible with the A10 chassis clip makes it pretty darn versatile. So in this bag comes everything that you need. We have your little Allen wrench here with a screw. I'm about to put this on the capsule slide. I'll be right back. A few moments later. All right, this is what the A10 chassis clip looks like on the capsule slide. And if you opt to go with this chassis clip, now you have a pretty handy little storage solution that can hang right off your belt. Or if you're like me and don't like things hanging off your belt, you can just put this right in your pocket and use this as a pocket clip. And something that I mentioned earlier, if you guys are eyeing this for an EDC wallet, yes, you could potentially use this as a money clip. And I kind of like this chassis clip as a money clip because as you can see right here on this adapt sliding plate when you put your bills in there you got that little crevice and fits in pretty nice now keep in mind i only have two bills right here and it is pretty loose not loose enough to fall out if i shake it so that's pretty good but if you only have a few bills they could potentially fall out while you're taking this out of your pocket and the bills get caught on the lip of your pocket here but you guys see what i'm saying just making this compatible with the chassis clip now all of a sudden this can be a pocket clip a bell clip or a money clip. So I found the capsule slide to be a very versatile little add-on to the A10 Adapt Wallet. And I really love what Dangle's doing here with this A10 ecosystem. If I'm carrying this A10 wallet, I can just slide off the bifold or single pocket adapter. And if I need more space, I can just take this, slide it right on, and now I have this nifty little capsule to carry around with me. That is, of course, with this clip off of it. I already showed you what the satin silver capsule slide looks like on the A10, so let's check out what the black one looks like here. I don't know, this anodized jet black looks awesome 
against this gray of the A10. What do you guys think? All right, let's go over what I like about the capsule slide. Well, the first thing's pretty obvious with the addition of this A10 adapt plate right here. It easily fits onto your A10 wallet. And now you have yourself a pretty no-nonsense, versatile little carrying solution. I like how it's compatible with the A10 chassis clip. Or if you just wanna rock it by itself and just put some cards and cash in here right in your pocket, you can do that too. I love the build quality of this. It feels very solid. I like that they included an attachment point down here for lanyards or a tether. And I like that they give you two choices of colors here. All right, now let's talk about what I don't like about the capsule slide. It's a super minor gripe, but it's the same problem I had with the other adapt accessories is when you have it attached to your wallet here, it's still has that little bit of wiggle. Now, once again, this isn't a big deal, but I wish all of their adapt accessories fit in perfectly so I couldn't wiggle it around like this. Next, sometimes it is difficult to slide the plate up when you're pushing from the bottom here because just the way this plate is sitting on that rail mechanism, if you push up from the bottom, you're naturally pressing down and it almost locks itself in. I found the easiest way to slide this lid open is either from the middle or right from the top. And one last small gripe is when it is attached to your A10 adapt wallet, if you wanna slide open this lid because the lid slides up this way, it's exactly the same way it slides into the adapt wallet. So if you go to open the capsule from the bottom, most of the time you're just gonna take the whole capsule right out of the wallet. So you have to make sure you firmly grasp on the capsule before you try to open that lid. That's not necessarily a negative, I just wanted to mention that before I moved on. And one last thing, I really wish they would have given us a color that matched the A10 wallet here. As you can see, the A10 wallet's more of a gray color and that's a satin silver. And then of course the black one goes with anything, but I think it would have been really cool to have these two colors match exactly. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of Dango's slide capsule? Now, if you guys wanna check these out for yourself, I will have links below in my description box. And yes, I do have a discount code just for my subscribers. I'll have that below too. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go!